In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool background slide effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, in order to create this really cool effect, you're going to need two things. First, you're going to make sure you need Final Cut 11 because we're going to be using the magnetic mask. And also, you're going to be needing a plugin, which is the offset plugin, which is for sale on my website. And it's included in the Ultimate Bundle. The link is down in the description below. Now, in order to install the Ultimate Bundle, what you want to do is head over here to Go, click on home and then head over here to movies and make sure you go to motion template folder so open the motion template folder and what you want to do is you locate the effects folder right here and then you want to drag the ultimate bundle so once you purchase it it'll come in like a zip folder unzip the folder and then drag the entire ultimate bundle folder into the effects folder and if I open it up right here you will be able to see the offset plugin so this is a must-have unfortunately the offset plugin does not come with Final Cut you're gonna to have to be downloading it as a plugin but trust me me, it's a really cool effect. So here's the clip that I'll be using for this effect. So as you can see, this is just the example. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go forward about 10 frames to the beginning of the clip, and I'm going to go to the end of the clip, and then I'm going to go back 10 frames. This is basically where I want the offset effect to actually happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to select in this clip, we're going to hold down the option key, and then we're just simply going to duplicate this clip, because this is the clip, or this is the layer that we'll be applying the magnetic mass to. So if we open up the effects panel right here and what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find masks and keying and then what you want to do is you want to apply the magnetic mask onto the clip right here and there we go now unfortunately if you have a version lower than Final Cut 11 you're not going to be able to have access to this effect so that's just something you want to keep in mind and I think from what all the research that I've done if you don't have a MacBook without a silicon chip so like an M1 M2 M3 M4 I don't believe you can actually get the this update but let me know if I'm wrong on that that's just you know all the research that I've been doing but again let me know if I'm completely wrong on that so as you can see here is the clip right here so see here is the magnetic mask so we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beginning of the clip right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just select on this clip right here so just simply select on the subject and then as you can see, there you go. You already have the magnetic mask. Now you can go through and really adjust the settings. So as you can see, we can go through and zoom in a little bit. And you have all these different tools. Now this is, as you can see, basically like adding more to the mask, subtracting more to the mask. Now this is also like a brush tool. So if you don't want to use like this, like the eyedropper tool, you can just use this brush tool. So if we go here to the plus tab and we want to paint on the actual like subject right here so we can just kind of paint the subject so as you see now we can zoom in a little bit to let's say like 100% and now we can go through and really adjust this so let's say we want like a paint paint over here and we want to paint so this is kind of as you see see this like red outline so we can go through and really just kind of paint the subject so as you can see it honestly does a really good job it's basically like using apple intelligence so as you can see it's actually doing a really good job so see we just kind of like you just you're just basically like painting over the part of the subject that you want to use so as you can see i think that looks pretty good now for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to rush a little bit but as you see we can go to this minus tab and now we can just kind of subtract or actually let's undo that and let's actually just bring down this brush a little bit so we have a more refined tool something like this now we can add to it so as you see it's just very much a trial and error but as you can see it's doing a really good job as you can see now I'm kind of rushing this a little bit but you see even 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 when I'm rushing this it's doing a very good job of isolating the subject as you see we can go to the minus tool and maybe decrease the brush size a little bit and just um, subtract this a little bit so as you can see it's very much trial and error but as you can see overall it's doing a really good job as you see we're just kind of painting over the subject so you can either use the brush tool or you can use this tool right here so go to minus and we want to maybe subtract a little bit of this go to the plus so see it's just it's a really fun tool it's basically just rotoscoping for final cut and i think overall i think that looks pretty good you can go through and really refine it if you want but i think as you can see if we go back if we go back to fit I think it's doing a pretty good job. We can go through and adjust this part too if we want, but I think for right now that looks good. Now you either want to do is you want to track forward or track backwards. In this case, we're going to just analyze the entire clip. As you can see, we messed a little bit on the edge, but we go ahead and click on done really quickly. So there you go, click on done. 
And now if we go ahead and just disable this bottom tool, as you can see, there is a subject. Now as you see, it's doing a pretty good job. Again, I kind of rushed it, so you would want to go through and really adjust it more. But we select this clip, you can head over here to the feather, and now we can just decrease this feather. So as you can see, now it's a little, you know, now it looks a little better. Again, I rushed it a little bit. But as you can see, just with like in like a couple minutes, you can actually get a really good cutout. And again, go through and really fine tune it. But again, just really quickly, it's doing a really good job of guessing kind of where the subject is. Now if we go through and enable the background clip now we can apply the offset effect onto it now if we head over here to the first marker and we're gonna go over to the effects panel and we're gonna find the ultimate bundle so this will select on the ultimate bundle and you will scroll down until you find the offset effect and if we apply the offset effect onto the clip there we go now what you want to do is you want to keyframe either horizontal or vertical offset in this case we'll go ahead and place a keyframe on horizontal offset and then we'll go to the second keyframe now what you want to do is you want to select this clip and now you want to adjust it so in this case we'll type in let's say like 300 now you want the number to be a 100 number so 200 300 negative 400 negative 600 if it doesn't end in like a 100 number it's not going to perfectly line up so if we go through and kind of play it frame by frame you can see it's kind of moving a little bit and because we ended it at 300 you can see now it perfectly lines up so if we go ahead and play this clip right here now you have this really cool offset effect where the background is kind of like going behind the subject and there you go that's as simple as that you have this really cool effect now maybe we want to actually adjust this feather a little bit more so we don't decrease it too much and I think that looks pretty good as you go as you see it's doing a really good job surprisingly that we only took like you know two minutes creating the mask but there you go as you can see there we go I think overall now we adjust the feather that that looks a lot better. So there you go, you have this really cool like background slide effect. Now you can also add some motion blur. This is a free plugin from Ryan Nagel. So we apply the moderate motion blur, we'll just drag it below the cutout and on top of the clip that has the offset effect. And we can just simply trim the motion blur to the marker. So option right bracket, and there you go. Now you've added a little bit of blur to the actual clip. So if we go through and play the clip one more time, there you go, you have this really cool clip where like, the clip is just showing that all of a sudden the background just slides, and there you go you have this really clean um, effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos and you wanna watch more of them, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And again, if you're looking to purchase the Ultimate Bundle or any of my other really cool plugin packs, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.